Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at another, or not take a look, but we're going to show you, I'm going to show you another batch of the Explorer Notes on the island. Last time we covered that mountain north of us, uh, but this time we're going to uh, take the Redwood Forest. Because even though the Redwood is a huge part of the map, it, it is actually not that many notes. I think it's 11 notes in total, not counting the caves, so this won't be that long of a video, but I think that's quite nice. So, uh, without further ado, uh, let's start. Although I do want to mention, please subscribe, like the video if you find it helpful, and also maybe leave a comment. Up to you, but that would be really cool. So we're going to start here in the east and move ourselves westwards. And the first one is a bit... Well, it's kind of hard to explain this one, because it is... Well, it's very easy to find, but we're going to start here at this log, connecting sort of this northern part of the island to the redwoods and you want to kind of just come down from it and just head sort of in a right sort of direction diagonal direction up kind of right straightforward right diagonal from that log and you should pretty quickly see the ruin throughout the trees the good thing about the redwoods is that there isn't a jungle so there isn't as dense in vegetation as it is in the jungle so a lot of the ruins here are pretty easy to find and this one the same. So again, diagonal to the right um, from that log that crossed there. And we find Helena note number 10 at 52.3 by 59.0. So we are going to continue directly from this one, by the way. Uh, I'm kind of going to use this one because, again, it's really hard to kind of guide you in the Redwood Forest because there aren't that many very distinctive features here, at least not in the beginning. So I'll have to try my best. But I do want to mention that, yeah, if my game looks a bit weird, I had to brighten it up because it was starting to get dark in game. Uh, but this time you want to head towards the mountain once again in a diagonal sort of way from that ruin. Again, that's the ruin right there. Um, so you want to just, uh, I'm just going to show you so that you can start here. So head sort of straight, slightly diagonal, sort of, uh, yeah, towards that area. Or, yeah, towards the volcano, pretty much. And when you go there, you can see the big, very beginning of sort of, I guess you could call it the roots of the mountain here. And right next to it, you'll see this wall. Just to show you why I brought it up and um, brighten up the game is that it is this dark, you can barely see it. Uh, I would recommend you too brightening up the game if you can. And this is uh, Nerva Note number 10 at uh, 51.4 by 54.6. So this next one is a little bit easier. You want to kind of head up towards the mountain. There are a few on the mountain, but I, before we go to those, I just want to show you the one on the side of the mountain. So if you go to the top, just to show you, kind of to guide you here, just go to the very top of the mountain, and you want to look towards the, you know, you have the volcano there, you have that mountain there, the snow in the middle. Kind of just aim towards the snow mountain from that position. Right here. Aim towards the snow mountain. Just head down. And you should see a pretty big fort type ruin here. It's very big. It's probably the biggest one in the Redwood Forest. Uh, no, it's not actually. It's the second largest, I believe. Second, third largest. Pretty big. Easy to spot. We have Nerva Note number 8 at 52.4 by 49.0. Alright, so for the two next ones, we are heading up to the top of this mountain. Uh, although there are none here at the very top. You can see how there is kind of this path going all the way up, starting at this sort of uh, Akasha tree on the top of the mountain here, you see there is a very clear path going down, and you want to follow that path quite a bit. Uh, I am on Leave Me Alone right now, so I won't get bothered, because I think that might be something that some people find a bit annoying. I certainly do when I do this, like getting attacked on the way. So to kind of remove that disturbance, I just put myself on Leave Me Alone, so I won't need to bother with any dinosaurs. However, when you get down from that path, you can see it opens up here. Um, like, yeah, you get to this very open space. Uh, you want to just go straight forward. And you can see the path kind of goes down in here. But then you want to see to this, like, look at this little area right here. Little side path. Just showing you quickly on the map, like we're in that direction. Um, and there is no ruin, but there is a Nerva Note just in the middle of nowhere up on this rock. Nerve note number 27 at 56.2 by 51.0. And to find the next one, you're going to head back up to the top, like, center part. 
This time you're going to follow this road that you can see kind of forms this way. Right here. So follow that. Just like this. And then you get, when you get down here, you can see this very big round sort of rock forming. Just right here, you can look up, you can see this type of formation. And on the other side of this round little rocky thing, there is another ruin with another note. This time it is Rockwell. Number 14 at 58.5 by 48.9. So now we're going to head back, sort of down towards the volcano. Not necessarily that we've been here before, but we started kind of on this side of, like, this river here. Uh, you want to head basically down from the mountain towards the volcano on this beach. There is an alpha, a raptor, and a rex here, uh, or carno here, so that's kind of cool. Um, you want to head towards, like, you want to head westwards. Uh, you can see there's a big cliff over there. And then you see this formation of a smaller cliff here. Uh, if you have problems finding exactly where we are, basically, yeah, you can see there, volcano right next to us. There's a little cliff forming here, and you can see a very clear ruin on the sort of foothills of it. On the foot of this thing. And that has another note, surprise, surprise. Meganera at 54.3 by 41.4. And then... For the next note here, we got to actually head to the very opposite side of the map. We were just on the other side of the... or not the map, but the Redwood Forest. We were just on the other side of the Redwood Forest. Now we're down here at uh, this area. Uh, just like... Um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to show this other than just show you the coordinates and the map location. Split between those two islands, that's the footpaw, we, the one we took in the first episode actually. Yeah, the swamp, and then it's really difficult to show you exactly where this one is, because it is kind of literally in the middle of nowhere. But if you go up from the swamp here, uh, there's not really any distinctive features to... I guess you can use that cliff. There's a very clear cliff there. Uh, and if you go to the end of that, and move a little bit forward, and then you go up into the redwoods, you see that very, like, round sort of rock sticking out there, some very steep hills. And on the bottom of it, you should see a pillar. It's not that hard to f see and spot, but you just gotta know where it is, or where to search. Again, I'm very sorry, that was probably the worst description of any note I've done so far, but... Again, you have these sort of mountains-type thingies here. Uh, as you can see, like, the, this plateau, and then you have these mountains down. And then if you go down them, or go, yeah, if you decline the mountain, is that what you say, decline? I don't know. Uh, you have the patchy dust here, at 65.4 uh, by 40.8. This uh, next one shouldn't be too easy, uh, too difficult to find. Uh, that's the red obelisk, so face the red obelisk on the tip of the redwoods. We're now at this area, and just uh, head into the re uh, redwood forest from here. You should see this fallen log, and if you see this, you're on the right path. And you can pretty much use that as a guide, so just run towards it. Not that that's the only fallen log, there's actually another one right there, but if you find those two fallen logs right here, close to the swamp and sort of directly towards that uh, red obelisk, you should see a very easy, like very relatively decent sized ruin, but it's out in the open. And it's the Paraceratherium dossier at 65.0 by 31.4. And then if we head a little bit backwards, you should see this river. I'm not going to really point out or, like, spend too much time describing where this river is. It starts here in the south of the island. Um, like, yeah, where the swamp begins. You just head up the river. Um, it's very easy to find. It's the only real river in the redwoods. And you come to a broken log, and then you should see this massive ruin, which is, I think, the biggest one on the island, actually. Uh, not counting any boss arenas or obelisks or anything, but like, just pure ruin. And the first one you find on this bridge going across the water. So on the right side of the river, you see this, uh, this staircase going up here. Um, that you might have to jump up. 
just go up to the top and it is a note here. This is Rockwell number 8, 64.4 by 34.1. And from here we can uh, fly, uh, and you can see that wall section that's above that second waterfall there. Or first one in the ruin maybe, but second one off this river. So just walk up this side path if you're on a land dino. The point is you want to get to this wall section. And you can see like arch 1 and then at the end of arch 2, or in the middle actually, uh, of arch 2 right next to that big tree, there is another note and this is the Equus dossier at uh, 63.5 by 33.5. And finally, to finish off the video, we're going to take the final note. And now we're back sort of towards the volcano again, we're at this part of the island. This one is a sort of difficult to maybe describe. I think I can turn back to normal now. Uh, it's a bit difficult to describe this one, but you have this massive cliff facing like in between the red and blue obelisk here on the other mountain. When you look towards the redwoods, you can see how it's a relatively open space. It's kind of sand going up here. Um, and if you follow that up, sort of in the middle of it, the cliff directly behind you, uh, you can see, yeah, you can see this kind of path type thing going. Look to the right. There is a little pillar. Shouldn't be too difficult to find. And there is a note on it. It's a Nerva note. Let me see which one it is. It is Nerva note number 18 at 57.8 by 32.2. Epic. And with that, we covered all the notes, not counting the caves. Again, I will do the caves in episodes later. Um, all the overworld, uh... Uh, one of notes on the Redwood Forest. If you found this uh, helpful, please like and subscribe. Hopefully see you again soon, and bye-bye. Uh,